day one of my epic four-day Cornish photography adventure. In this video, empty spaces and intimate landscapes. Now, it's not my normal sort of starting place for one of my photography videos, but this isn't any other normal photography video. Today I'm off on the van trip in my trusty van, Sherman. Um, we're going away down to sunny Cornwall. Well, it's not going to be sunny. Um, I don't know if you can hear the wind outside. It's actually going to be quite stormy and breezy. We're probably in the grip of some really extreme weather in the UK. We've got frozen wasteland to the north and we've got wet and windy to the south. I'm in the south. I think I'd rather be in the north, to be honest. But we're going to make the best of the situation that we've got. So I've just packed everything up. I've got everything put away, packed up my food. Um, so we're all set for the week away. I'm just going to take care of the van down and get some fuel on the way down. But well, that's enough talking from me. I need to get on the road, get the van sorted out with some fuel, get down to Cornwall. But there is photography to come in this video. I've got a location in mind that I'm gonna to go to. And if the wind stays as it is, we should get some really stormy seas and some breaking waves. So stick with me. We're gonna have a bit of photography to do, a bit of traveling down through Cornwall, a bit of van life. Who knows what's gonna come into the mix because you really can't script this type of video when you're really doing it on the fly and at the mercy of the weather. Fingers crossed it doesn't get too bad and ruin my weekend. Well, at long last we've arrived. So the location I've come to is a very beautiful Senan Cove. And uh, it's a fantastic place to stop and have a bit of lunch because I'm just looking out over the, um, over the cove behind me. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I've tried to um, warm up a ham and cheese slice inside my um, Ridge Monkey. So hopefully this is going to work. It's a bit of an experiment. I've seen people use this for warming things as well. So with a bit of luck, it's going to work. I'm going to have a bit of warm lunch, pack it crisps, finish my coffee, and then we're going to get down. So I can see some fantastic photographic opportunities. So here we are after our two and a half hour drive down to this location, scouting for some park ups for tonight. And I can confirm that lunch was a success. You can indeed warm up pastry, pasties, etc., in a rich monkey. But anyway, back to the photography, because that's what we're rewarded for by our efforts. And this location is absolutely stunning. The only gripe I've got, and it's nothing I can do about it, is that because we've come down a little bit late, the pristine beach, the beautiful sand, is actually been damaged by people and dogs walking across it. There's nothing we can do about that. We just have to work with it because everybody has a right to enjoy the outdoors. What I've just been doing is trying to um, take a number of quick photographs with my phone. And the reason for that is it just gives me an opportunity to get my eye in. It just gives me a chance to take a few different photographs and see what it is that I like about this location. What is it that I enjoy? What is it that's sort of getting me excited and wants me to take pictures? Because when I've established that, then I can get out the SLR. So I'm currently heading towards some rocks at the other end of the beach because I think there might be something there to take before the tide comes in. The tide is on its way in, um, so we've got to be a little bit careful and make sure we don't get caught out. Unfortunately, it's also just started to spit with rain, so um, we've got the waterproof on. If it gets too wet, I guess I'll have to get the waterproof trousers out as well if I've got them in the bag. Um, if not, the fan's not too far away, so we can rush back there any moment that we want to. So let's go and find out what it is at the end of this beach and see if it's worth getting my camera out for. So I've settled on a um, grouping of rocks behind me. The waves are coming in and breaking nicely on the beach. But what I think I can do is actually arrange the rocks so that they're in almost like a diagonal across the frame. So this picture is all going to be about the foreground, the breaking waves and the colour of the rocks and the sand and the beach and the way that looks together. 
I've just had a dog run through the pristine patch of sand that I found, so I might have to crop that out. But I'm hoping a wave will come in in a minute and uh, sweep it away and clean the beach for me again. It's a great thing about the coast, isn't it? Every time you go, it's already had an opportunity to refresh and renew itself with the coming and the going of the tide. So I'm going to put my camera bag somewhere up here out the way so it's nice and safe and I'm not going to get it squat flashed anywhere. And then I'm going to get the camera set up and I'll talk to you about the composition in a minute. It was at this point that the wave came in and filled my welly boot. There was never any danger to me, just the other foot. I made a tactical retreat and you get left with a voiceover. I concentrated on the three rocks in the centre of the frame, all pointing to the left. The left and right sides of the image are messy. Going in closer with my 8x10 crop takes care of this. The layers of sand and sea and sky add depth and a feeling of remoteness to the photograph. So I don't know, I kind of feel in a way that that last photograph I took has potentially set the theme for this photo trip. It's four days away that I've got down in Cornwall. I think the weather's going to be pretty much like this for the most of the trip. It's going to be grey, stormy seas, heavy swells and virtually empty beaches which actually if the rain holds off is absolutely fantastic. The picture that I took though although it's I'm quite happy with it I think from what I've seen on the back of the viewfinder because I won't know till I edit it although I'm quite happy with it it's not really capturing or doing anything for me in terms of what this place is really about. It tells a bit of a story but on its own I think it lacks a little bit. So I'm going to go and try and find some of the things which I tried looking at through the phone and see if I can capture some more of those intimate details, some of those textures and things which really got me excited when I was coming down here and we'll see how that works out in a minute. When you get excited by a small patch of grass in a sand dune, you know you've got to get a life. <laughs> but for many landscape photographers, this is living the ultimate life and today I'm certainly doing that. I haven't taken a lot of video of this image that I've taken up so I'm just going to put the finished one up on the screen in a minute and uh, let you decide what you think. But this is what I mean when I talk about capturing the little bits in the landscape that really sort of draw you in and make you want to complete these images. I'm becoming more and more enthusiastic about the small intimate parts of the landscape and I think there's at least two maybe three, certainly two other similar images just capturing those special moments that I've come across that I want to capture before I go back to the van. So join me and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the next one in detail. This is one of those photos where the idea and the excitement were better than the final result. The image is slowly growing on me. I like the simple graphic quality and the diagonal arrangement, but I can't help but feel there was more to be had from this subject. When I came down to the beach first off this afternoon, the weather conditions were a little bit more favourable than they are now. It started to rain again and look a little bit spitty and a bit grim 
but there was one scene that really sort of made me want to stop and look at some photographs. But before I took it, I wanted to explore a little bit more and have a look around. And do you remember, if I left it in the video that is, that sometimes your gut feel is the one that you really need to go with? Well, I felt that the feeling I had when I came here was about this bleak openness, this huge expanse of space. And it was just looking out to sea and seeing the bands of sea, sky and sand that really captured my imagination. And that's what I'm taking in this photograph. All the way along this beach, there's some black sand mixed in with the golden Cornish sands. And what we're getting is we're getting these patterns rushing away out to sea and they've been dragged that way by the receding tide earlier today. And I'm using this in the foreground to drag your eye across this empty beach and into these beautiful breaking waves in the distance. It's just enough wave, there's just enough sky just to give you in a sense an idea of scale and space. And these textures in the foreground really speak to me and say it all. Hope you really enjoy looking at this photograph because it's my favourite so far that I've taken today. I'm really pleased with this photograph. It captures the feeling of space that I had when I first put feet on the beach. I was also drawn to the sand patterns drawing your eye into the photo. I tried a portrait 4x5 crop to draw more attention to the foreground. For me, this version loses the sense of depth and scale and does not work as well. Using the sand patterns in the last photograph gave me an idea. The sand itself has become the main subject. Not one, but two and three photographs complementing each other, a triptych. The photographs on either end were taken in opposition to each other, so that the fingers of sand would both point into the centre of the arrangement, holding the three images together. Well, it's fantastic to be away in the van. It's great to be able to come back and make a hot cup of coffee or a hot drink or warm up or whatever, um, depending on where we are. Today we've got a bit of everything, a bit of rain, a bit of wind, but you know what? It's been nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna go off to my next location and I really do hope you stick around and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget the bell icon because it means you'll get all those updates as soon as I release the new video. Tomorrow's shoot is gonna be even better. That'll be your next video. I'm planning two different photographic locations, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So it should be really, really good. Bye for now, get out, enjoy your photography, and I'll see you really, really soon.